Okay, so speaking of things that you teach people, so we all know everybody's obsessed with VLOOKUP and everybody wants to learn VLOOKUP and sometimes you don't necessarily need a VLOOKUP. So if, if you haven't heard of something called uh, the intersection operator, I'm going to show you what that does right here and now. So we've got guns, germs, steel, January through April, right? So if I want to just somehow retrieve the intersection of, uh, let's say, February and, uh, you know, steel. Here's how I might do that. I might, I might use a VLOOKUP. That's true. But I can also just say I want, let's see, I want this range here, space, and this range here. What's the intersection of C3, C5, and B4, E4? Why, that would be 24. So the, the empty space is actually an intersection operator. Now, uh, of course, this particular formula syntax, you're looking at it and you're like, well, who the hell's ever going to write a formula like that? It's not very, doesn't really tell us much, right? So the way that I like to use these implicit intersections is to use named ranges. And I suppose if I, if I had this a, set up as a table, it might work better, but I'm just going to show you the old school way for now. So let's say we have some stats here for our various superheroes that we're keeping track of, um, and we want to use this implicit intersection technique. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is create some named ranges. So an easy way to do that is select all of your, your table here, including this little uh, this A2 here, up here in the upper left corner, and in my formulas tab, I have this little uh, defined names group, create from selection. And as soon as I hit create from selection, notice Excel is smart enough to go, oh, she's looking for the top row. Why, yes, indeed I am. And the left column, well, yes, indeed I am. So I say, okay. And now I've got all these named ranges, right? There's my babies rescued. There's my Hulk range. There's my laundry loads completed and so on. So we all know that with named ranges, you can use them in formulas in place of standard cell referencing. So, for example, if I want to know how Iron Man is doing this month, I can just start typing Iron Man, Iron Man, space, babies rescued, and it's going to give me a 75. No way, that's awesome. Wow. Wow. So check that out. I mean, it's just so cool. Now, and most people would look at this table and go, I need a VLOOKUP for that. Well, yeah, you could do a VLOOKUP. Yes, you could do a VLOOKUP on Iron Man, and, you know, then Babies Rescued would be column two. But guess what happens when you do an insert? Oh, God, that's not column two anymore. That's the other thing everybody does with VLOOKUP. They always use the hard-coded column reference, which... You know, so if you have, so my point is, there's, there's a world, there's a whole world outside of VLOOKUP. Okay. Um, I love this technique. So here's my question so. for you: Is um, yes. Can you use that to reference other cells? So if you had A15 and A16 with the range names. Yeah. What, what do you, so you can use it to reference other sets. So here we're referencing, you can see the lines, right? We're referencing the Iron Man range and the Baby's Rescued range and that, that space in between yeah. the two uh, named ranges, it tells it to, to retrieve the intersection, which is 75. So I'm not what sure. I'm what asking is if you were to have this, if you put the names in uh, A15 and 16, could you put in that current cell equals A15 space A16. If I put in A15, oh, so uh, well, that's not an intersection, though. Let's see. So you're saying if I just did A15. No, 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 no. no, no. What I'm saying is uh, if you I have put, no idea what you're saying. Put, okay. um, Batman in 15 and then Baby's Rescue. Oh, oh I see. Um, so I think there you might need to use an indirect. So, because when you use, let's add, let's see, I've never tried that. Oh my God, this is a live Excel TV. So, if I wonder if that would work, um, if I just said equals indirect, because you're thinking making this an inter interactive thing. I'm not sure this will work. No, oh, I don't think it's going Moment to. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. What do you guys? Do you guys want to? Does anybody want to make a prediction? I'm going to say no. I'm say yes. Say, you're going to say yes? I believe in oh, you. I believe in you. That. It works with indirect. Holy. USA. 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 Holy mother of dragons. It works. Yeah. Dragons. Not Reagan. That's pretty. 
Look at that. I learned something live on Excel TV. You all witnessed it. So yes, it works with indirect. Indirect is, is referring to uh, ranges that we actually, where we type the range name into a cell. So <laughs> that's pretty good. So yeah, you can okay. put a drop down list in there and do, oh Lord. Yeah. Oh Lord, Lord have mercy. So, yeah. so the question now is um about how taxing it is on the system, like like a whole bunch of uh, V lookups. Um, how taxing it is? I don't know that it's more taxing than a VLOOKUP. I, I'll, I'll be honest, I haven't done a stress test, mm -hmm. uh, but it would be an interesting experiment. Um, to yeah. my knowledge, it's not a, not a, well, I know indirect is volatile, so it depends on how many you have, I guess, but it depends on many other things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting yeah. challenge, though. Very, very, wow. That's all, all right. I got. I'm out of, I'm out of, I'm out of Excel. <laughs> no, that's man. We all all right. Let's we'll see. Turn the lights off and go home now. I mean, I mean, Sarachi's is that there? Oz. Oh. Moment of truth. Got to. Whoa. Oh man. Whoa. Got to. Got to Cause I'm gonna be using that thing. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I'm gonna be using that. 